deep printing is always a hot trending topic, especially here at CES. There's nearly a half of a show floor, all with 3D printers. But bringing to the table lots of first 3D systems. You have chocolate printed candies, emoji printed candies, and somebody that needs no interaction. I'm not printed. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm is printed. real. This is no, who I am. No, because you went from chocolate the printed. Printer office. Yeah, you, you, you went from chocolate. Uh, 3D printed chocolate, and then like I wasn't gonna make that segue. And then, I, then I thought you were gonna go in uh -uh. real chocolate, where you print. <laughs> but I will talk about one of the really you cool first. Really sweet. Yes, there you go. See, so he's yeah. backing me up That's already. Fast. Right behind me here, obviously, EcoCycle. How cool is this? We now have a 3D printer that uses recycled materials and filaments. Yeah. How did this idea come about? So um, uh, I came up with the idea, and this open-minded, awesome guy, Avi, saw the, the beauty of, you know, turning post-consumer plastics into um, fabric that you could print with, with 3D printers. So uh, it was an idea just about a year and yeah. some odd months ago, and we're sitting here watching it print. So that's, you know, the turnaround to be able to make that happen. Because you gotta understand, to, to, to melt the plastic, you know, you, you're working with certain temperatures and they figured out the math. And what amazes me too, Avi, you're always looking into the future as well as you. You know, do you think that the next step for the system would actually be potentially to have bottles inside your home to be able to make filament of them and then to 3D print, making this all one kind of ecosystem in your very own home? Could that be down the line? It's, it's very possible that we'll be able to recycle it all uh, at a certain point in time. Uh, and it's very possible that we'll be able to turn more waste into amazing creations. There's no question about that. The person now knows instead of chucking it or putting it in a bin, that when they put it in a bin, that it will turn into things that can be printed. And what you can print is, is up to the person who's creating. 2015 is the year of 3D printing. And you've experienced it yourself at Best Buy because you were able to walk up to it and make something that you wanted to make. It's, it's going to be, in, and to me the question is not if it's going to be in every home, but what room in your house will your 3D printer cool. reside? In for now. Including the kitchen. Including yeah. the kitchen. What, what yeah. was this? <laughs> this is printed ceramic. Is this ceramic. printed, wait, is this printed too? This is printed ceramic. Come on now. Dude, can I tell you, there is a 3D printed band. An entire band playing downstairs. You are like mind blowing in terms of what you're bringing to the table. Actually, it seems as if we're just starting. Yeah. This stuff has been for like a while. Yeah. And in popular culture is just getting hip to it. But you can print in titanium, aluminum, SLS. It really shows you how complexity comes for free huh. when you have a 3D printer. And you can really have all the freedom of creation that you would ever want. I have to give you a special thanks because it is your birthday, and of course, appropriately so, he has a 3D printed cake. Mm. It's done by uh, Chef Tom from the Culinary Institute of America. From the CIA? They're here. <laughs> the CIA. Not the Langley CIA. No, I know, I know, I know. Will, Avi, yeah. thank you so much for your thank time. You. Thank you. Exciting to see what's coming out in the future. For more videos here on the CES show floor, you can head on over and stay with us here at PopSci.com.